Welcome to New York Luxury Bridal Fashion Week, Countdown to the Collections. I'm Rachel Leonard, Editorial Director of the Bridal Council. This is spring summer 2022. Today, we are so excited to have a conversation with designer Georgina Chapman of Marquesa. Welcome, Georgina. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Rachel. I am thrilled to be here. We're so, we're so excited. Um, we're so excited to see your new collection. But first of all, for the new brides out there, because there's always new ones, which is so great. Tell us about the DNA of the Marquesa brand. Well, here at Marquesa, I, I would say we're quintessentially, we're romantic, we're ethereal, and we believe in beauty. And most of all, I believe in women feeling their best. It's, it's an incredible process when you see a woman put on the gown that's meant to be for her. It's a transformation. So for myself, it, it's about how that woman feels in that dress. So not only should she look beautiful, she should feel beautiful and she should wear that dress with confidence. And that's what I strive for. I, I think that makes a lot of sense. So for the upcoming spring summer 2022 collection, can you give us a hint of what's going, what the theme is going to be or any, any insight to it? Yes, we looked at some gardens, these beautiful white gardens, Sizinghurst Castle, and they were created by um, Vita Sackville West in the 1950s, and they're all just shades of white, and just it, it's just achingly romantic and stunning. Okay. So, so we really, yeah, it's so, so beautiful, so beautiful. I apologize for the noise behind me. I tried to find the quietest spot. <laughs> no problem. This is real life here. Don't worry about it. Um, so um, any new silhouettes, uh, treatments uh, for the season, fabrications? Like to share. Yes, this season we actually we had a lot of fun. We played with different things that we haven't done before. One of the dresses we did is a gazar dress. So it's sort of it's a little more structured and it has a very oversized floral embellishment on it. And it's a ball gown shaped skirt, an easier ball gown, and then more of a structured with a deep V top and all in a gazar. And then we also we we created a lattice lace with pearls encrusted on top, which, um, which, is, uh, which is very beautiful, but it's also quite dynamic as well as being romantic. And uh, we also did a large taffeta ball gown with the slip, so you can see your leg, which is quite fun. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, over the years that I've always attended your presentations, you always style, uh, have such special styling with, oh, thank you. with fresh flowers or there it's just so you really drive your look home with um with the um flowers and i just wanted to ask you um because we put flowers sometimes stick them in the earrings fresh flowers or in the hair or in new ways that you never see before will you be doing anything like that to help drive this home your point of view well, you know, we can never resist a fresh flower in our case or a flower in general. <laughs> so yes, this season, this season again, we were playing with flowers and uh, we've created these crowns all with real flowers. And so for each dress, we created one that went with the dress and, um, you know, it's part of the look and it's something that I love to do and to play with. And I think, you know, Obviously, each bride will take their own take on a dress and their own styling. And I think that moment is so special for a bride. And I would always advise the bride to do what really feels personal to them and not necessarily what's trend led. The head, the head to toe look. But you're getting you get your point of view across. It's which... my point of view, and I love flowers and I love the romanticism of them. And um I, I, I enjoy it so much. I really love bridal. It is just such a time to celebrate beauty, life and love. And um, so that my team and I, we really, we have a lot of fun with it. Oh, that sounds so great. And um, this is so exciting, your new partnership with Pronovius Bridal. Um, tell us about, you know, a little bit how it all happened and then Please just, you know, give us what some insight to the new collection. 
Well, I mean, I, we, we showed one of our um, bridal presentations in Barcelona Fashion Week, and then I had the pleasure of meeting the Pronovius team. And um, I've, I've always been a big fan of the work that they do. And Amandine is such a fantastic woman and she's incredibly impressive. And so upon meeting her, it was um, an instant yes. I, I knew that I wanted to partner with them and um, to create more magic. And that's really what we've done. And, um, you know, the collection, I, I believe, speaks for itself. It's, it's, it's a beautiful collection. It has its own DNA, but it's quintessentially Marquesa at the same time. And, you know, it speaks to, I hope it speaks to many brides, but I'm very proud of the collection. You should be. And I think it's a perfect compliment for the, you know, the Pronovius brands that they have, because I don't, they have, you know, very, a lot of super glamour, sexy and things like that. And yours would be a perfect compliment for the girl who's looking for a more romantic uh, feeling for her wedding day. I, I think it's such a great idea. And I'm sure Thank you. it'll be widely distributed, which is also great. Yes, in their, which we're in their very channels. excited about. Exactly. So that'll be great. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled about that, yes. And back to the Marquesa bride, I mean, how would you describe the kind of girl who's attracted to your dresses? What's her style? You know, I, I think, I, I like to think <laughs> the Marquesa bride is, is every girl out there. But you know, I, I, what I always am fascinated by is when a bride comes to me and she's like, you know, I, I definitely don't want a big dress. I know I don't want that. And I'm like, okay, maybe just try it. See how you feel. And I'm telling you that, that there's so many times I'll see that woman put on that dress and magic happens. And so, you know, I, I really don't like to box a bride in and say, well, that's one bride and that's another bride because it really is, it's such a, it, it's a gut feeling a girl gets when she puts on a dress and it's a transformative feeling. And it, it, it really is magical, but we really aim to look at all the brides out there and, you know, just the different kinds of wedding people we're having nowadays, especially now, obviously, during this time of COVID, but even more beforehand, it's that you have your destination wedding, your more traditional wedding, people are getting married at home, people are getting married in registry office, and it's really looking to all those different women out there and um, speaking to what they might need, whether it be a dress you can wear on the beach, or dress you can wear in a much more formal setting, but each to be as special as the other. So that makes a lot of sense to really think about the venues that they're going to marry in and just different styles that you can have um, off from your line. And women should be open-minded to trying any kind of style on because this is one once, twice in a lifetime that you're going to wear such an important gown. Um, absolutely that... absolutely and also these photos are going to be with you forever so this is something that you're going to look at for the rest of your life it's something your grandchildren are going to look at so that's why I always say to a bride go with who you are this should be the essence of you not the essence of what necessarily is in trend at the moment because this is going to be looked at in 20 years time 30 years time so really go with your heart and take take your lead from that that's such a great answer. And just one last question. What do you love most about what you do? Oh my goodness. That's a hard question because I love what I do. I really, really love it. It's, uh, I think for me, the most magical moment is when I meet a real bride and I watch her put on a dress that I've designed for her or perhaps I'm in a wedding gown store helping meeting the brides. And that to me is magic. Seeing that moment where the, the dress and the girl meet and, and, it's a, and there's a transformation. And I, I love meeting women. I love that. I love hearing their thoughts. I love seeing how they feel in the clothes and you know, listening to them. And that, that to me is wonderful. That's so lovely. Thank you so much for taking the time today. We're so thrilled to have you. Um, oh, thank you so much, Rachel. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. And, and um, I just want to say thank you to everybody and thank you for listening. Yes.